Welcome to our end of week news bulletin. I am Sergeant Faith Wine. The KDF weekly bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defense over the week in today's bulletin. Announcement for KDF nationwide recruitment. Chief of Defense Forces, Post Commander U.S. Special Operations Command. Kenya Revenue Authority Board of Directors visit Revenue Service Assistant trainees at the Vipro Training School. And Kenya Defense Forces join efforts in conserving mangrove ecosystem restoration. To start us off, General Francis Ogola, Chief of the Defense Forces, hosted General Brian Fenton, the Commander U.S. Special Operations Command at the Defense Headquarters here in Nairobi. The two leaders held talks anchored on the existing cooperation on defense and security between the two countries. The leaders lauded the existing strategic partnerships that prioritizes the development of human capital, defense training, and the value of shared experiences in the defense industry. Kenya Defense Forces troops drawn from Kenya Navy Base Mutongo and Mariakani Garrison joined hands with the Office of the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya in a tree planting exercise at Jomvu Constituency, Mombasa County. The exercise was in preparation for International Day for the Conservation of the Mangrove Ecosystem, commemorated annually on 26th July. During the exercise, a total of 16,000 mangrove seedlings were planted. Mangroves are an important part of the coastal ecosystem that provides a variety of benefits to both humans and wildlife. They help protect coastlines from erosion, serve as carbon storage, a habitat for wildlife and filter pollutants, which makes the water healthier for both people and wildlife consumption. Other partners who participated in the exercise included the Kenya Pipeline Company, Eden Reforestation Projects, Greens of Africa Foundation, and Seriops Environmental Organization. On to our next story. This week, the Kenya Defense Forces officially launched the Extension for Community Health Outcomes Platform at the Defense Forces Memorial Hospital here in Nairobi. The platform is an innovative telementoring program designed to create virtual communities of learners by bringing together healthcare providers and subject matter experts using video conference technology, brief lecture presentations, and case-based learning, fostering an all-teach-all-learn approach. The program was launched worldwide in 2015 and has been operating as a virtual forum for learning and collaborative problem solving among healthcare providers in different geographical locations. Since its launch, the platform has been proven useful in sharing information on public health. Our reporter, with more. The launch, which is in line with the Chief of Defense Forces slogan, One Force, One Mission, will play a key role in fostering efficiency and effectiveness in medical service delivery and translate to optimal health service provision within the country and beyond our borders. Dr. Barbara Mambo, the National HIV Clinical Support Coordinator during the launch, expressed the importance of the forum, emphasizing that it will provide a platform for Kenya Defense Forces consultants to demonopolize knowledge to provide medical services in close and deep operation areas. This platform is practically adaptable to all other disciplines within the healthcare sphere. It is a force multiplier and efficient platform that will enable our consultants to demonopolize knowledge and amplify capacity of clinicians providing services in close and deep operation areas. Brigadier Dr. Atanasius Odhiambo, Chief of Medical Services at the Defense Headquarters, stated that the launch is a milestone for the Kenya Defense Forces and Kenya at large in terms of dissemination of health information. Locally, regionally and globally, it will empower KDF healthcare providers by providing case-based learning that is interactive, collaborative and collegial. KDF as a force is focused on one, one force, one mission. This platform will play a key role in providing <coughs> efficiency and effectiveness, which will translate to optimal medical service provision to all our clients who are spread all over within the country and beyond our borders. The project is in partnership with the Ministry of Health, the Presidential Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, and other government agencies. 
Moving on, the Kenya Revenue Authority Board of Directors visited the Revenue Service Assistant Trainees at the Recruit Training School in Eldoret. The visit was meant to check on the progress of the training and to emphasize the importance of the training towards achieving Kenya Revenue Authority tax collection mandates. Mr. Anthony Nganga, the board chairman, recognized the need to inculcate integrity and discipline in fighting corruption. He pointed out that the government had set a tax collection target of $3 trillion for the next financial year, which the Revenue Service Assistant would help achieve. He praised the Kenya Defense Forces for supporting the Kenya Revenue Authority to inculcate discipline, patriotism, and physical fitness to the trainees. Brigadier Joel Arimi, the Commandant Recruit Training School in his remarks, pointed out that the Kenya Defense Forces stands ready to support government ministries, departments and agencies in achieving strategic goals in line with the Commander-in-Chief's directive. He noted that the multi-agency training is a way to foster stronger cooperation and synergy amongst different government departments. On to matters regional security, Major General Alfaxad Kyugu, the Force Commander East African Community Regional Force, visited the Kenyan Quick Reaction Force serving under the United Nations Organization Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Benin. During the visit, the Force Commander was taken through the troops' current deployment, roles and responsibilities, and operational progress. The first commander while addressing the troops acknowledged their commendable performance and said such success contributes to Kenyan's recognition as a key contributor to peace support operations in the region and beyond. He further noted that the good record registered by the troops since deployment in 2021 has significantly increased the demand for Kenya Defense Forces troops in peace support operations. We are happy because we are getting, we have been getting very positive uh, reports about your performance. When QRF-1 came, they performed extremely well. And this, as a result of that, uh, Kensi was born. Major General Kyugu emphasized the importance of maintaining the highest levels of discipline, professionalism, and continuous training, noting that these are the virtues of a successful military in any operation. He implored the troops to remain extra vigilant and not to lower their guard as the security situation in their area of operation remains unstable. Tomorrow, we will witness the transformation and culmination of a remarkable refurbishment process in a historic event presided over by His Excellency Honorable Dr. William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces at Kenya Shipyards Limited in Mombasa. We employ you to watch the rededication ceremony live on KBC television and our social media platforms this Saturday from 10 a.m. The Kenya Defense Forces is pleased to announce to the public that the recruitment of General Service Officer Cadets, that is regular and graduate degree holders, specialist officers, general duty recruits, tradesmen and women, and Defense Forces Postables is scheduled to take place from the month of August and September 2023. The advertisement will inform all candidates of the eligibility criteria and recruitment dates. All interested candidates for specialist officers and tradesmen and women vacancies must apply online on the link shown on your screen. The Kenya Defense Forces Recruitment Drive is free to all eligible candidates. Members of the public are warned against engaging in malpractices with a view to influence the recruitment process and are encouraged to report any suspicious activities or characters to the nearest police station or military camp or call the hotline numbers 0726 419-709 or 0726-419-706. For more details on the process, check our official website and social media pages as shown in the scrolls below and in the local dailies beginning Sunday 30th of July this year. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDF Weekly Bulletin. I am Sergeant Faith Mwai. Goodbye.